Hello, Summer Scholar Campers. We are into week seven, two more weeks of learning. How very exciting. This uh, week's theme is brought to you by the story, you may have read it before, The Day the Crayons Quit. So all the activities, for the most part, have to do with this story. So we're just kind of reading one story this week and focusing on the story. Here, you will see a video right in the middle of me uh, explaining all the, this week's lessons. So that's where you're gonna find that. Here is your calendar for the week. Again, your daily things you can do, your sticker chart, hope you're filling it up, and this week's activities. Reading, the day the crayons quit. So we are just working on reading comprehension this week, focusing on this one story. When we're, when we're focusing on reading comprehension, it is important that sometimes we uh, read the story several times before we can fully comprehend it. Okay, so if you click on the middle, it will take you to the actual story. You click this little square button right here, it will make it larger for you. Hopefully there's no issue. Some <laughs> the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Okay, so you can listen to the story. You can listen to it every day this week, whatever you like. Okay, we all have had feelings like crayons. Create a picture using your art supplies uh, that show a time when you had similar feelings like the ones of the crayons. Okay, and there's also another read right there. Click on the image to enter the reading comprehension room. So if you click on the little book, it will take you to this room. The day the crayons quit. Okay, and if you go to present mode, okay, it is easier. I think this took us to slide three. All right, so again, a big file. So it takes a second to load up. Okay, but there are several activities. What was the red crayon's problem? So you can click on those, okay, in present mode. So it will ask you some questions in regards to the book. And that's that. Phonics. We have homophones and prefixes. And of course, there are some videos for you to watch. Let it load up. Remember, you can kind of fast forward all this part while everything's loading. I do apologize. But I have some things in here I need to show you. All right, drag the definition to the prefix. So there's definitions here. Which one it means life? living things okay is it anti by so our, our tk kinder first possibly even second this may be very difficult for them so this might be an activity where we need parent support okay and over here if you click on the word homophone activities you can enter a room and remember to go into present mode okay so it goes over what a homophone is and then some activities for you. All right. Writing. <clears throat> Click on the word writing. Can to load up. There's a few different writing prompts in here, different things you can do. All right, so you can pick any of these following, and I have um, just different slides for you to write your responses. So, uh, one, two, three, four, and five that's how I kind of did them. You can go in any order, it doesn't matter. Write a new letter from one of the crayons to Duncan. Okay. 
go through there, whoops. Write a new story about everyday objects that decide to quit. Find synonyms for different colors. Write a conversation between two or more of the crayons. Write Duncan's reply replies to the crayon's letter. Okay. So again, if your students um, need to just orally say it, that's all right as well. You can help them type if you can. If not, just have them orally say it to you. And math for this week, we're focusing again on place value. Making sure we're keeping up with our math facts. This is exactly like um, week six, except, oops, very similar. believe here we go let me get there it is a different activity here this is like an ocean theme one there's lots of things that you can click on it takes you to different places okay And then there are different practices as well, practicing tools down here for you. Now, again, this might be a little bit too hard for our PK kinder first grade. Okay, um, but do what you can or skip this part and just focus on counting this week and work on your 120s chart and your videos. Okay. Steam for this week is a puzzle center. I love doing puzzles. Okay, so it will take you to different um, online puzzle centers. Okay, so you can just, there's some books on puzzles and then there are some activities as well. So just click on that. Spanish room is the Spanish room still and the virtual field trip. I think this one's so exciting. Have you ever wondered how they make Crayolas? Come on, this is amazing. Okay, so click here to learn about the Crayola factory. Okay. And art, I believe, is a slime activity. Oh, parents, we don't really care for slime, but the kids just absolutely love it. So here's a fun little slime kit, um, some recipes for you to do, and some items that you could need uh, to make these ones, but it is so much fun for the kids. And then social emotional is social emotional. And I forgot to mention up here, I also did some videos on um, how to learn uh, to learn a little bit more about crayons as well, some videos. All right, that wraps up week seven. Have a fabulous week. Keep learning, keep reading. Have a fabulous week.